And welcome to another episode of the Flip the Mindset podcast. I hope everyone's enjoying the restrictions being eased. I certainly am in town for a cut of pints the other day. It was absolutely fantastic. I hope you're all enjoying it too. Anyway, today we have two fantastic guests on. We've been wanting these guests on for a while. Um, they're just two very, very busy men. Bash the Entertainer and Biggs from Love Island. Biggs has got his own fashion label and goes with fellow Love Island contestant Rebecca Gormley. Bash is a comedian and it goes viral probably every second day. These guys are doing absolutely fantastic for themselves. They're growing huge platforms and they don't forget who they are. They're very humble, they're very caring and it's a pleasure to have them both on the show. Today we are going to talk about racism and growing up in Scotland. We love our country. I would never ever move away and stay anywhere else. I'm proud to be from Scotland, so are these two boys. We're just talking about our experiences growing up black in a majority white country, and we wouldn't change it for the world. I hope you enjoy. Please like, subscribe, and don't forget to click that wee bell. Guys, what is happening? And welcome to another episode of the Flip the Mindset podcast. A platform of hope for people struggling with the pressures of modern day society. This is episode 18. This should have been episode 3, but we've got two busy boys. You know what I mean? <laughs> two busy, busy boys. But we finally managed to get Biggs and Bash. Bow. Bash the entertainer. <laughs> <laughs> and and so I actually brought my own hat, but since Biggs is on the show, he's brought me one of his hats. BMC, it's not BMG, it's BMC. Hey. So we're going to do a wee unpackaging right now, man. Let's see. Oh, the first bit, always number one. My oh, man. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. oh that's, nice. <laughs> that's nice. Bro, I appreciate that. Isn't it? I appreciate that. It's made well. <laughs> Every single measurement like was done by me and my mum. Like we done everything. Like, your yeah, your mum will be help you. But I'm, I'm telling so you. What's BMC? Big Marvin Chris. That's my name. Oh. Hey, yo, I'm Gus. <laughs> but right, that's fresh. Oh, no yes, chance. Man. Love it. Thank you. I'll give you money. Nah, no chance. No chance. <laughs> um, so, yeah, get one of these, man. They're actually sick. Nice fit. Appreciate fit-ish. that. Appreciate that. You know that. what I mean? Appreciate As Kaz that. Milligan says, sick. sick. <laughs> 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 we're talking about you, Kaz, a minute ago, so you're, you're getting destroyed on this, Kaz. Can I be honest? This Absolutely. guy's the most talked about in Scotland. I'm going to say this. He is getting yes. talked about. He's yes. the most talked about, yes, bad yes, or yes. good. Like, yes, yes actually the most yes, talked yes. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know now if it's more bad than good now. I, used to be more bad than good, but I'm I seeing agree. a lot of people start to I feel, retweet. Like, I feel like it's, it's like half and half now. Isn't I don't it? know if he's just creating hundreds of e-profiles and just stealing, <laughs> you know, oh! stealing young Carol's pics off the line. He has. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know if he's paying people or not, man, but you tell us, Kaz. Um, anyway, listen, it's great to have you on, man. It's really okay, good. We I can talk that. pressures of modern society, mental health. We can talk um, about you two, your careers, mm-hmm. personalities and stuff like that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, still with Rebecca? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All still, good? Still, all good, man. Yeah? She's coming in two days' time, actually. Where is she? In Newcastle. So she does go away all the time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's stuck because she broke her shoulders. So, but she's recovering oh, nice. So doing, she's. Man, <laughs> <laughs> Normally it's a no, back no, break, no, it's man. It's 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 shoulder breaking shoulders, man, isn't it? <laughs> shoulder right <break>. hey. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, nah, she fell off the bed. Right, okay. She's mad. Doing what? What? Doing what? <laughs> nah, she fell off, man. Like. No, she was. Uh, she fell off. God damn! <laughs> <laughs> she fell off. <laughs> oh man! She, she fell off. <laughs> she fell off the bed. <laughs> I'll get that. I'll get she that. So she just actually fell off the bed. Actually, Rock. just a main eye, a minor thing. Such a minor fall, but it proper damage to her. Awake. Awake. <laughs> proper damage to her. Brilliant <laughs> man. So, what about yourself? What's happening? Got a girlfriend? Yes, I do <laughs> actually. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I do, I do, I do, I do. Yeah, I've got what's a girlfriend. Um, yeah, we're still together. Her name is Tanya. She's Spanish. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, she's she's lovely. She's cool. She's actually like 
She's actually like she's the best she's person I've ever. Sorry. Oh, she is, bro. She's actually the best person I've met ever since like I like started dating. Yeah. yeah. She's so and she does videos with me, TikToks, YouTube, and um, she, she's just great, man. She's really, really great. I love that. She, I love that too. See, that was nice, see it? one thing about Bass, like. I, all the boys, you know, if you've got a bud, like, yeah, don't, yeah. like, praise them. But it's, yeah, yeah. he's like, yo, I love my I, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, do you I know do. normally it's that house about you? You're like, all right. That's, That's like me. People normally see it's confidence. Like, yeah. Right. Like, with me, I don't talk much about it. I just like, yeah, yeah she's good. Like, I feel, I feel like yeah, the, you don't give much of me about it. No. Nah. Yeah. I feel like the, the reason why I do it is because I've had, like, bad relationships and I've not been with someone that's made me proper, happy, happy. Yeah. You know what I mean? But with her, it's different. That's why, like, I'll post videos of her pictures just to show people like you know what she's she's a she's a good one in it and like it's just different you don't ask me for nothing no gifts i just do it because i want to do you yeah, know what yeah, i mean so I like she's she's but once she's once she's mad it's, it's the best thing in it like a spanish girl i do it the, the english goes away and it just straight up <laughs> yeah, yeah. he's it's been nice. smoking love hasn't he, man? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, hey so we, we're, we're going to talk loads of stuff in this podcast i cannot wait but what i want to know is tell us a bit about the guys, the, the, the men behind the fame. Mm. Is your online persona the same as what you're like um, in real life? Such a good question, that. Oh. You, know, do you, know, you know what? I posted about this two days ago in my story. Um, the thing is with me, I'm really, I'm really big on mental health. So, like, what people see on social media, they see Bash Entertainer. Yo, what's going on, Jabal Bash Entertainer? And I do all these jokes and... I thought to myself, I don't practice what I preach. Mm-hmm. I tell people to always be calm or do what you love, smile, da da da. But behind the camera, I'm stressed. Yeah. I'm depressed as hell. And I was used to like hide myself behind it. I'll hide myself behind the comedy. I like before I go on, I'll make myself go from proper sad to just this happy guy. But I know deep down I'm not that happy, do you know what I'm saying? So do you think that's why you get into comedy? Because we, we talk about comedians a lot of the time mm-hmm. or people who are really, really funny. Mm-hmm they use that mm-hmm. yeah. you know to, to hide yeah do you think that's why you yeah just... that's that's really the, one of the biggest that's the biggest reason why i started doing comedy just to to hide the fact that i'm i'm not always okay that i'm not always the 100 percent happy guy that you see on social media so i feel like i use laughter and comedy to just escape from thinking all those thoughts do you know what i'm saying i don't want to be thinking about all this depression stuff, all this sadness stuff. And my like my anxiety sometimes is so high. So like when I do comedy, I don't really think about it as much. Yeah. It's I mean? a big surprise because we've been friends for years and none of the group, like nobody really knew. Yeah. None of the boys knew. I'll, we only just found out like last year into mm. it. So but we would see him always happy. Obviously there was something there, but nobody knew like it was that deep. So it's when when we found out it was a big shock, mm. such a big surprise, I, man. I was the same growing up as mm. as I say in the first podcast I done when I talk about my story, the exact same. Just not that I was funny. I didn't mm. have the gift of being funny, but mm-hmm. I was always happy, always loud, mm-hmm. always helping people, always right up for anything. Mm-hmm. I was dying inside, you know that way. It's it's hard. It's it's um and yeah, you, you wouldn't know, would you? If you like, you know what I mean, but. It's behind the curtains, isn't it? It's what yeah. it's what happens behind the curtains. I know. What about yourself? Mine's opposite, you know. Like um, the way you see him on Insta, active, happy. I'm like that twenty four seven. You can ask I, the people. Out, that, yeah. You can ask the people, out, and like, yeah, it's it's mad. Like I'm just happy twenty four. I don't let things bother me. Mm-hmm. You get me? I I I don't know. It's a different. I think I've got something wrong with me. I'm just always happy, guys. <laughs> you can call me a monkey, this, that, yeah, yeah I'll be smiling. I'm like, nothing can, no, obviously I get sad. Yeah. I get sad sometimes, who doesn't? Yeah. But I'm just legit always gassed, you know, like, yeah, that's true. That's true. always that's happy. Life. Yeah, just love life. That's good though. You know, yeah. you, you ask yourself, is that, um, is that a, you know, a result of the way you've been raised or the way yeah, you've been yeah, at home? Yeah. Is your mum like that? Is yeah, your dad yeah. like that? And all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I always think that is it because Scotland is a very negative country. We know that We're so negative, you know. Mm. So Scottish boy growing up could be a wee bit different from people who come to the country mm. and have got already a different culture mm. and stuff like that. So do you think like your mum and that has that in the household more? Is it a happy household? Or? <laughs> you, you won't believe. Like when we first came to Scotland, we thought everyone was nice. We loved it. 
I still do. Like, because we moved to Annan, you know, Dumfries. That's where so, I played football. Aye. Yeah. So we moved there from Holland. Annan's and, small. Uh, trust me, we were the only town. black folks there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, yeah, you would be. And they're anyways, a bit, you know, they're not, they're not too sure. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But see, because, see the thing, right, with black folks, I feel like, like, even though we were the only black family, but we were wild to get them. We were still yeah. just active, happy. But it's most black people, like, because they'd be quiet and chilled. And I feel like with white people, I'm sorry to say, like, they would try to take advantage of that. Mm. But they see you being active, buzzing, like, I was still that cool dude. Mm -hmm. They loved it. Mm -hmm. Which is, my story so different from so many yeah. others. It's different, isn't it? It's different from, like, I think it's the same way when you've got like Americans that come over here, mm -hmm. it's just a whole different vibe. I mean, my dad, when he walks in the room, it's like, it's like a whole, like, it's like 10 people have just walked in the room, you know yeah. what I mean? He's loud, he's yeah. he's demeaning, he's, you know what I mean? And people sometimes are like, ah, whoa, yeah. you know what I mean? Whoa, that's a whole lot, that's a whole lot of differentness, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, and that's, you know, it's, it's weird because we've all been brought up or we've spent time in a predominantly white country. And right. um, with me, I was in a, a full white family. Well, okay. So that's why I've, I'm so I'm so gassed to talk to you about race. Well, okay. know, because my views are not different. Yeah, but obviously yeah. everyone's views are different yeah, from what yeah, perspective yeah. And, and, and what um, what conditions we've had throughout life. But for me, my dad left when I was young mm -hmm. and I was brought up off my white mum. Mm -hmm. My whole family were white. You right, know? right. And um, I was I was just loved unconditionally. Oh, right, I mean, okay. Loved. I was taught to not even see racism, you know, none of that. You know what I mean? Right, okay. it, it, it said, if someone had said a boo to me, you know, my brother would have took the heat off. My, bro my big brother was white, do you know what I mean? So right, okay. I never really... I got a lot of racism, of course, but mm -hmm. um, white people were, that's, 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 that's who I am, kind of thing. No, I'm yeah. not black, obviously, but my, my whole family over here is all white, yeah. do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I feel like, it's weird, I feel like I've been raised white, Yeah, yeah. but yeah. they've never, they've never, they've never wanted me to change, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I've just been raised black, I mean, but like, how do I explain it? I've been raised... I, know. I was just raised to fit in. Yeah, Weird, yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? It's, I can't yeah. explain it. Like yeah. my mum would never want me to change. She was almost like, embrace your colour, embrace yeah. your colour. Yeah, oh, right, okay, that's you good. Know, that's your good. Your granda was, um, you know, we were. My great grandpa came from Africa and stuff, mm. so we. Um, I've got a lot of roots here. She would teach me about it and all that stuff. She that's just amazing, never made me. You know? She good, just man. never made me feel out. Yeah, ever. Yeah. So I feel like not that I've been. How do I, how do I explain it? I've just been Sorry. raised. Um, that's a, that's a message. Where are you? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> cool. yeah, um, I've just been raised. It's been great. So I think today when I'm talking to you guys, it's going to be great to kind of know the the differences. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. What I mean, because um, where I came from, I had one friend that was um, black. Right, and then okay. everyone else in my school, well, there was a couple of black people in the school and everyone was white. Right, so, but right. you guys, it was normally mostly black friends when you're yeah. on your Instagram and stuff like yeah. that. So it's totally different circles. So did so, you, so oh, you had a black friend like in- Me and Jace Jones. Right, okay. Um, you know Jace Jones? No. No. Um, and then the rest of us were, the rest of them were white. So, and you just got on well, um, like- yeah, we got on well, and right, um, right. we both suffered our racism and all that. But that's mm -hmm. going to happen if you're going to have yeah, you know, yeah. two black people in our in our group of yeah, friends I know, and I know. everyone else. But yeah, so the rest of our whole school was white, or teachers, everyone. You know what I mean? It was. I bet the like, girls loved it though. Yeah, 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 of course. I feel, of course, I feel like for me, <laughs> I only I only knew racism when I moved here. Yeah, facts. Like, oh, fact, yeah, yeah. I, like, I, when I moved here, like I'm I'm the type of person I'm nice to everyone. Mm -hmm. Like I, I don't see color. I don't I don't mm -hmm. I don't. Race doesn't, I don't care about it, do you know what I'm saying? So, but when I started primary school, I, I first went to primary school in Tory Glen, like Hamden Park and that. And um, it was just so different. Mm -hmm. It was like, where, where, where I grew up was, if you're not white, you're just an outcast. Mm -hmm. Like that, that was how, that, how it was mm -hmm. to be honest. So like, I never, I tried to fit in as much. There was times where I wanted to wear tracksuits and like night tracks just to fit in. Like yeah, to, to yeah. be like, like those Vegas jackets, do, do you know what I mean? Hilly Hansen, do you know what I'm saying? So, but because like, I came here about my dad, so I was only I've been been here like all my life with my mom in it. So, um, she's the most nicest person in the world, 
she doesn't care about the whole race stuff. She just tells you to be yourself. And she's really religi- like religious, so she prays mm-hmm. a lot. Mm-hmm. So that's basically how I was raised to just you know be yourself, you know, pray and don't bother about that stuff. But because I was I was always in the street, like doing madness with whatever, I had this mentality where if you're if you don't like my color, then you're my enemy. That's mm-hmm. how I used to be like. So if you are see you in the street and be like, yo, you good? Oh, you're black lost. Then it's beef. I, that, that's what I, I was. And then growing up, and then I met all the, the black guys that I've met before, like when I was younger, Somali this and like Asian this. I'm, like we just became a group of friends. And that's how we were like, we grew up as in like, if you don't like my color, you're, you're enemy. But now I've grown up is, is different. Like if you don't like my color, like he said, no matter what you call me, I've been called this, this the whole sorts. Monkey yeah. this, chimp that, uh, bear this, King Kong this. I don't give a fuck. I just... Okay, sorry. <laughs> so I don't really care now, innit? But it's really, it, it scares me a lot though, because like my, my, my daughter's mixed race, you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I kind of, I don't want her to go through what I went through. And now it's like, kids now are so silly. Like really, really silly, like sillier than before. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want her to go through nursery or mm-hmm. primary school and going through what I went through because your hair is curly or you're more tan than the others. And it's a bit, it's a bit mad and cause like, at the moment, like I don't see my daughter, which is a bit mad, you know, in God's timing and that. But I want her to kind of grow up with both cultures. Mm-hmm. I don't want her to just grow up in the, oh, can I say this white side? Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, cause like, she stays with her mom in it. So I don't want her to just grow up with, that's all you know. Is the mom right? I, right? I want her to grow up in like, knowing that you're African as well, you're Congolese, mm-hmm. you've got black grand, you've got uncles and mm-hmm. they're all black as well. So I want her to know both, mm-hmm. but, it's something that I really want to happen because I don't want her to have just that one set of mind where you just, when you see your, your black guy, oh my God, I'm a grand like, mm. but, um, Understand that, absolutely. That's maybe explains my point a bit there. Um, when, I, when I talk about growing up is when, like my mum was the only one that taught me about my black culture, yeah. uh, you know? And she, really that was just all she had. A couple yeah. of photos of my grand, there's your auntie yeah. Tisha, your auntie Regina, it was your dad, your thing, yeah. because I didn't know my dad mm-hmm. then, not now, but so she would always think, and then she would try and get them to call me and stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. But apart from that, she didn't know much about black culture either. Aye. She just mm-hmm. tried to show me and stuff like that. I find that amazing, See, man. if I was with you guys when I was young, mm-hmm. I would not have felt comfortable. I still don't. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because it, I can't get into the culture as much as I... As much yeah, yeah. As I want to. Now, yeah. like my friend like Chase Jones and that, they always went to America once or twice a year to stay yeah. with their dad for two to mm-hmm. six weeks. My dad was off. I don't know, I don't know where he was. Yeah. So I never got that. So everyone around me was white and into Scottish things, bagpipes, football, yeah, this and that. Yeah, yeah. So I played the bagpipes. I played football, badminton, and all that. No, not that that's not 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 that's anything. I just mean like I just done in all my hands I was yeah. wearing the cross track suits and all that yeah, stuff because yeah, I didn't yeah. know any different yeah, I, know, I, know, I, I didn't know. know all I seen was black culture all I seen that is in like American gangster or the movies. movies and yeah, stuff yeah. that's yeah. all I seen <laughs> yeah. and that's over dramatic do yeah. you know what I mean and that's all I seen so I almost feel like a big part of my life that way has been mess- yeah. out you know mm-hmm. and I don't want to do that to my son I yeah. want to show him, listen, this is the other side of yeah. This is this side and this is the other side. Yeah. What's, what's both your, beautiful, both the same. What's your other half like? A, my girlfriend. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Yeah. Like, what, like you, you, you're mixing it. What's your other mix? Are you, you're white and... Scottish. Oh, white and um, black American. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. oh so your pop's American? Yeah. Oh, All my family's American and then his Amazing. grandpa is African. Oh, okay. Yeah. So have you been to America? No, I'm oh. going over. So I didn't talk to him for um, 28 years. Oof. Yeah, 28 years, and he came into my life when I was 28. Yeah, he came over. There's a video on it on my Instagram. No, he yeah. came over, and uh, he yeah, green? it's been amazing from there. It's been amazing. Did you greet? Are you, you green? I wasn't greeting, no, but I was loving it. Yeah, actually, I was big at the time. The lift did not be of me. You know, was six, a foot, six foot three and a half, just built differently. You know what I mean? His shoulders were like that, man. Why is he a henchman as well? Huge, Damn. Man, huge. And uh, that's just how it's hit off, man. So I want to. But it's something that's always bugged me. It's, it's, yeah, it's know, always bugged me that I couldn't get into that side of my culture. It's amazing because most mixed race kids, I feel like, don't care. Yeah. Because they, they don't know. Because they don't know. Yeah. And my dad says that sometimes. He says, oh, you need to come over and experience us. Mm. Yeah. And I never understood that. Yeah. You need to come over and he says, you've got a whole nother world mm. over there. Your and life would have been different. I think it's good to know, to know both cultures. 
that's why like like just like you said like mm-hmm. i really want my daughter to to have both cultures my, my niece right now is like my, my big brother is really strict on her to know what her other culture is do you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so and she's proud of it she eats all the african food that we make mm-hmm. she she loves it do you know what i'm saying and like the surname of my family she loves it she, she takes it so i want my daughter to be like that as well mm-hmm. her to know like both sides you know i don't want her to to grow up to the age of like because like right now she's like four in it now they talk yeah you know, yeah they, they, yeah they know yeah, everything yeah. in it so like i want her to get to like when she's like five or six she knows that you know you're you're all your congolese yeah, and yeah, yeah. we eat this we eat that we speak like this we dance like this mm-hmm. i want her to little by little to know it do you know what i mean because like that's cute the, the that's other cute. side of the culture is always amazing are you do worried you know? she's not going to I'm really worried that she's not going to because the first time I basically I I did like two years about seeing my daughter. I, I started seeing my daughter when she was three, and the first time I saw my daughter, she she compared our skin. So like we, we was like she came in, she was a bit shy to see me and all that. And then when I I spend time with her like in a soft play or the park, she will look at my skin and look at hers to see if it's like it's kind of almost the same. Mm-hmm. And like, I'm not really like. But saying anything bad about the other side of the family, they they actually all lovely. The mum is lovely, and um, but like it's it's like where she's at. It's just more white people than black people. I think more all she sees is white people every day. Like grand is white, uncle is white, nieces and nephews are white. But, so she'll be comparing herself. Yeah, I mean, so that like age. yeah, she was comparing. She'll look at me and I, and she she feels comfortable around me, which is cool. But I know like when she comes to the other side, she'll be a bit nervous. So I I just want her to to know both. So when I brought my niece to see her, um, and, and I saw play, they clicked like this. Mm-hmm. It's like they knew each other already. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I want her to to have that. Yeah. So it's important because we're all equal. We're right. all so. Mm-hmm. I don't see race. I don't really see nothing. I just see, um, I see the the. I always talk about substance because you can have anything. You can have fancy this, fancy that, brown skin, white skin, yellow mm-hmm. skin, pussy skin. I don't care. You know what I mean? It's a substance. What's coming out of it? Oh, what's coming out of that person? That's you know true. I mean? That's what I go for. I don't see anything. I just think we're all. I, I, I just. I don't. Don't understand it. Is the UK race. like? I'm so I happy you said it. that. When you said he never knew about racism until he came to the UK. I've been saying that. Mm-hmm. I never knew. But you it's know the what same one. I mean? It's because where where you're from, it's predominantly black. Uh, so it's totally different. If you're coming to a predominantly white place, it's yeah, I know. Be, I, no, be. I know. I know. I know. You know, it's just the way it's going to be. Where you come from, like my mate South Africa, um, a part he's in, he sees a, a lot of racism towards whites there. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? So Hi. it's it's that oh, yeah. way where it's you know what I mean. It's because it's the same ratio. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? As it would right, be. Right. Okay. So it's it's just people. I think that's what the most important thing. It's not yeah. white people that are racist. It's, it's people. It's <clears> ourselves. <throat> it's all over the board. Black, yep. ignorant Chinese. People, yeah. You know, you see a lot of Chinese people being racist in Glasgow. Yeah. You know, and and not liking other people's yeah, cultures well. and stuff like that. So, um, but I think it's important. It's definitely important to realise that. But we hear see people. We hear people say Britain's a racist country. What I want to hear is, when you did move here, mm-hmm. talk to me about some of your experiences of racism growing up. <laughs> Oh, um, oh my God! First time I went to primary school, I got a spat on me for no reason. That I get all spat on you, like a proper <laughs> on my face. First, that's the first I went to school. Um, if I find you, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> like there was times where after after primary school, I used to run home because if I if I walk, you get chased. Um, you go to the wrong neighborhood, which is like mostly white people. You get chased. Is that just for being black? Yeah, just that. Um, it was literally just like that. You go to Asa to get something, you get followed by a security. I, I never used to understand all that. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Um, bro, I've, I've been called so many names, man. I like I, I literally remember every single name I've been called. Um, but I never used to pay like pay any mind. But like mm-hmm. I said, like the more I was trying to find people that looked like me, when I found them, it was like, yo, me and you're together. Because me and you, you look the same. If anyone says anything about our skin, it's beef. Ah, nice. So I, I, like I said, I grew up with that mindset of like, mm-hmm. like don't mess with me. If you want to be friends, just come. If you come into us, you're like, oh yeah, you know, you're black, I don't care, then we're cool. That's no problem. Mm-hmm. If you come with a set of mind where like, you don't like my skin color is where it started. Like we, we fought a lot. Even when I used to go to- It was on the newspaper, the Air Beach it one. We <laughs> went to the Air Beach one time. <laughs> and then we were just having fun. It was like, mostly like us, like guys from like the area, a lot of Asians, a lot of blacks. And there was these guys from Porcel. 
that they didn't really like the fact that we had a lot of girls with us, you know, we used to be bad boys together. But yeah, they didn't really like the fact that we came with all these girls and then they started like chucking bottles like to the, the circle that we were with. And we, like I said, we, we, didn't, we didn't like it. So it just started an argument, 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 and then we started fighting and it was like the whole beach that was fighting. It was <laughs> girls against girls, boys. And mm. It was a time, literally the helicopter came and actually told us to evacuate the beach. We fought for like a oh, good 30 minutes. Doom, doom, <laughs> doom everywhere. <laughs> and this all started just cause they didn't, they didn't like the way we looked. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, so one, one, the way you look, and two, that you've got the girls. That's, that's a saying? huge thing. Even when all the sailors mm. used to come here Aye. and they would come, you know, big black men, probably hung like truncheons, do you know what I mean? And the girls would love it. That's what I always say. I always say to my mom, like, oh, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then, and that's that is really what what I, when my dad was over and he said he came over and he just said it was crazy. Mm. All the girls just clung to him, and it got them in a lot of trouble in the club. You know, if they were in the club and they came over, he used to go up to Glasgow and he go to a play. He always talks about it. Can't remember boom something or something like that. And then he used to go and he said the girls would kind of gravitate towards some of the black men and they would get battered. You know, from it, it would cause trouble. Not they would get battered, they would just fight. Yeah. It would cause trouble. So you've got that bit as well. And then you've got the whole bit of it coming to another country or they're coming out of the country mm, and go back yeah, to the yeah, 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 yeah. Just because it's not, it's, you say you learn it, it's, you, you learn it at school, right? The thing is with racism at school, they don't really know, especially Aye. younger. They only know what their parents have told them. That's true. That's, that's it. True. That's, that's, was true. The, that's the problem. You've got a kid and he's 10 year old and he's shouting racist chants. It's because his parents have taught him it. Or his uncle, or his big brother. Mm-hmm. He doesn't know. He's not racist, you know. Mm-hmm. He just is spouting what he's heard, uh, and what yeah, he knows sure. at home, or when his dad's watching the football, and he's like, "Yeah, yeah, this and that, yeah, you know, know. and stuff like that." Especially then he comes in at school, and then he goes, I "Wonder if I can get away with calling that," you know. And then he'll say, "Oh, you're mm-hmm. black bastard," or this yeah, or that. Um, and, and and that's the thing. So it's that way. I like to talk about when maybe in secondary school when they do know. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. They, 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 they do know the right from wrong mm-hmm. then. Um, was your secondary school experience plagued by racism or was it okay? See, for me, I don't um, Like, I've had racism, but it's minor. You mm. get me? Like, when we moved to Annan, like, somebody called me a nigger in the toilet and I never knew what I meant. Mm-hmm. But I never knew. I, I never knew what it meant, so it was all my boys. It was, but I never knew. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. No, yeah. no, I never knew what it meant, but it was my boys, the white boys that battered the boy, because I never knew it was in the toilet. So, like, escalate, whatever, whatever happened. But as of that, so I went back home and I told my, oh, this guy called me a nigga, and she was like, just like, don't pay him any mind, just like, continue being yeah. you. Because, must have broke your mom's heart though. Yeah, no, she was. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, we we don't we didn't let it bother us. We just mm-hmm. kept going. The see, our goal is just to work and make money. Mm-hmm. So we don't even have time for racism. Mm-hmm. Do you get me? Mm-hmm. So they could call us whatever. We just head down and just work. It's, I like what you say about your friends. Like I, I was very protected as well. Mm-hmm. See if anyone. I think maybe when you're older in secondary school, because at primary school nobody knows what. I yeah, yeah, no, no. If someone had said something racist to me, it was. Mm-hmm. You know, all my friends, all my white friends were doing them. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, battering I them, do you know what I mean? I it was frowned upon. And when I was we, lucky. When we learned that, but then you, you would get them doing it. Um, I remember I, there was, there's a lot of proxy about it, because when you grow up, you leave school. And I was looking at the BLM stuff and all that, and it was on, and I was watching everyone's movements and what they'd done. And you, you realised a lot of people, because I've got so many white people that I know, yeah. and I realised on my Facebook, oh my God, there's so much systemic racism with so many people. I knew I literally yeah. had to delete about 500 people yeah, just delete delete they're all texting me why do you delete i don't mean it against you and all that stuff yeah oh, I know. come on delete 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 so many friends so many people in my life just out and i won't talk to them ever again because of this the same i've seen some of the posts and then even my best mate no he's my bestest mate in the world and he was talking about the camara incident at football mm-hmm. and he was going nuts about it and i said listen you've got to remember you used to be racist to me you know bestest mate in the world and um he was posting about this thing and I thought the hypocrisy there's mental. I remember him calling me a nigger, calling me this, calling me that, because he was angry at me one time and stuff. And then he's going off about that as if he's not. Yeah, I know. Do you know what I mean? As if I he's he, he, he's not <clears throat> racist at all. And then um, it makes you think, sometimes I don't think going through school people were 
had racial hatred. Mm-hmm. I think they just when they fell out with you, they knew what to say yeah. to, yeah. Make, yeah. to trigger you. Yeah. Yeah. That um, and I think as we got older, it started being you're in a room. There's 20 mic people in the room, you're the only black person. If one person says a racist comment, the rest of them are not going to be happy. Yeah. I think it's, it's a lot more, there's a lot more knowledge. About I think it's changing like, now. Yeah. I think it's so much better you know, now. Like, the same story you said, right? I remember in in, uh, in school once, like, because I always wanted, like I said, I always wanted to fit in. But I there's this song that you sing in football that's quite racist. I don't know what it is, but this is my song, like, they mm. sing and whatever. So one of the boys was singing it in, in school one time, and then, like, the head teacher called about five of us into the, the office, and it was like, nine white boys and i was the only one and then she was like you, she was like shouting do you know what that song means about like, i made it and then she goes do you know that song is racist i know I, it's racist like and she goes why are you singing in front of him it's like but i didn't mean it like to him it's like why would you not say it to him like he's my pal and then because i was wanting them to like accept me in it so oh no stop, i hate so, that yeah. or oh, just because he's oh he's my pal i don't mean it towards him just, you know what I mean? it's not like it. so like you say it to someone else, but never, yeah. never, hey, um, black guy over yeah. here. Anyway, so, I, don't, I don't mean you, but yeah. no, I'm not, not you, but so I mean him. You know, it's okay if I say it to him, though. He's my, he's my pal. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. If you say it to him, I'm going to do this. <laughs> like, you, you, I used to see these videos online, like, this guy would be like, you be talking. Like, you, see, you see all these guys that came for the Pakistan, and I just they need to go back to it. I don't mean you. You feel, yeah, I feel like you're different. <laughs> and I'm like, my guy. <laughs> I'm <laughs> feeling <laughs> you. <laughs> I know. Well, the one that gets me the most is like, uh, I've got I've got a black friend, so I'm not racist, Aye. but they think they can. Oh my god! Aye. Yeah, well, oh. I've got a black cousin. I've got a black friend, so how can I be racist? You nigger! I know. <laughs> I know. Do you know what? I know. Do you know what I do? I, I confuse people at times. Right? Like you get someone be like, "Hey, yo, yo, you've got a Scottish accent, mate." Like. Where, where are you fit? I'm like, uh, I'm for the drum, mate. And he goes, oh, like, where, where are you fit, mate? I'm like, I'm for the drum, bro. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Are you, are you not? Nah, I was born here, mate. So, and then he'd be like, you can't really say go out to your own country because I was born here. Yeah. And then he just get confused and he's like, he's black and he's got a Scottish accent. Yeah, yeah. That's fucking mad, mate. And he just moves <laughs> away. It's like, I think people find that surprising, you know? Yeah. yeah. A lot of people find that surprising. Like, it's still really bad in the football culture. Oh. Nah, yeah. It is. Really bad. You know, I go to Ibrox. Oh, I hear some bad things, man. It's, it's so, heartbreaking. It's, it's sad. sad. It makes me really sad. Because once, if a black person scores, hey, if you miss, yeah. these nigger. Well, it's, it's not, not that. Hell. Hell. It's, no, it's, hey. it's just the hypocrisy as well, man. If if I'm at a game, right, and, and make it, you've got Stephen Davis or something, and he mm. misses a goal. If I stand out and yell on the crowd, you white piece of shit. Yeah, what I was know. that? I know. That was shite. I know. I'm getting... That's, I'm getting leathered by about 40,000 people I know. all I hear is Alfredo you stupid monkey bastard oh Joe get back to Africa this and that I'm getting you fucking this and that and fucking all sorts of shit two guys behind me I've got my hood up right I mean my pal Jason I'm watching the game it was great um, no it wasn't great it was um, we were beating us 2-1 or something and um, <laughs> and, we're, and, and we're there and there's two guys behind us um, kind of Short hair, not skinhead, but short hair. And what did they say? Who was it against? It was against um, the big up front for Selic, Edward. And I think he missed a chance. Aye, that right, or something like that. <laughs> Fucking gain him all sorts, of, all sorts of names. And I swear to God, he must, we're quite close to the thing. He must have walked kind of close to the centre line. And I'm sure he heard that man. And it must have been, you just think, it must have been just... <laughs> It's sad. I'm sure they he just must want have, to play football. We were so close to the pitch. I'm sure he must have heard mm-hmm. every single word of it. Mm-hmm. And then them same fans will go, "Whoa, Kamara! Can't believe that guy was racist towards Kamara." I mean, you're you're actually you, you posted that on your page. You were actually racist the other day. I, know. I, I know. Now you're going about a player being racist. Like, where is the? Where do we? I know. know, I know. I mean? It's I I don't get it. I I really like to this day I don't get racism i don't understand it i don't know why people do it i i just i just don't get it before see back then i would like try like change it like try on this see now i don't care i'll just keep living life do, do you know i'll what, never try to change some of these ways Fuck do you them. know what makes it worse like before i started doing like social media i used to be i used to, people used to be calm with me i'll get you know nice comments now and then Mm-hmm. I feel like the more successful you become as a black person, mm-hmm. people will just get back to the mindset of, I don't like you because you're doing more than me. Well, Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I've got friends that are still calling me, which is no problem, but 
I literally have friends that I I know you. I went to school with you, but like, because like they see me doing something else. They'll never they'll, contact you, you. You hear them saying, oh, no, no, no. Look at that kid, that black guy, look at this, blah, 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 blah. I think to myself, oh, you really hate me because I'm, I'm doing this? Yeah. Like, so, so it makes... Just, the thing that surprised me is, like, we're the same, right? We both breathe the same air, you know, do the same things, love the same way. And uh, just because you, 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 me, and Briggs have got some tints on, you know, like, just a bit of tint, <clears throat> just a wee bit of, just a bit of bronze. Is people can actually vent any kind of hatred just because, just color because you're a wee bit darker, and then that person who's racist gets out a car with a missus, and she's got a bit three liters of fake tan on. <laughs> oh, you know, that, so, that, that one, that one gets so, me the most. It, it's just like all my fr- even even the boys I know that are racist and uh, they're kind of low level, right? You know that, yeah. not not low level. Um, Low key, races, yeah, low you know key, yeah, I know. And um, they go to the sunbeds all the fucking time. I know. And I'm like, and they're happy to be turned. You know, the you, shit. you know these girls in school. They used to like make fun of me. You go, oh, look at your lips, me your pure big oh, champions. You lips, they, they do all this <laughs> thing. And I'm looking at myself, you laughing. I'm like, why are you in the in the little place getting your fillers in? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, no, but it's reverse, it's, it's reverse now, though, yeah, yeah, Like, yeah, see, no. having a big bum is embarrassing now. But see, back then, but now, you get me a big booty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, that's, it's, that's it's, what you want. You know, I just wish we, we just... Like, I'm trying to, you know, here's a, here's a point that it's it's not just white against black, it's black against white. It's, it's everyone against everyone. People, so yeah. was, I was um, in the town, and um, me and my mates, and there was a couple of boys beside us, black guys, right? Um, not black guys, African guys. Um, and they were um, talking, and one of them goes, I'm going for a chinky. Do you know what I mean? And it just got me thinking on the way home. So I'm on the way home in the car thinking, he's going for a chinky. <laughs> Can I, I'll be on, I don't say it, you know. <laughs> so many people will be listening to this and saying, I'm the same, I say that. Yeah. We're racist, yeah, so yeah. how can we be so hypocritical and moan about our racism when we then say yeah. we're going for a shinky? Do you know what? It's not the Chinese. Do you know what? I think it's because I grew up here that it's like, that's what I don't say, I say I'm getting Chinese food, but yeah. when I was younger, I used to say that. But to me, in my head, it's like, I'm not saying, I don't, I didn't know it was that racist. Yeah, but no, I feel it's, like just, it's just really the same as saying packy or ain't like that, yeah, or blacky or darky, yeah. But yeah. I mean, yeah, because yeah, because we brought up there, we don't, you don't, you, you don't know, so you just use the name because that's the normal, you know, you think it's just short, but when you actually think about it, and I had an argument with my mate about this. And he was like, no, I've seen chinky all my life and packy all my life, I'm not going to stop it for anyone else now, yeah, yeah. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's the same as saying blacky or ain't like that to me, say, so you racist or. Or you just say, yeah. people in Glasgow have always said that, it's been that way for years, not me, yeah. but I say that, this and that, and I go, whoa, yeah. that is a problem. And actually, I had like a half an hour argument with him, turning around to understand how wrong he was. Do you know the thing is, still right, say it. you know, I'll be honest, right, it's wrong, it's wrong, but, I don't, like, I'm not angry at, you get me, like, at the end of the day, a Pakistan person will tell you, it's short. If you, you get me, like most of my Pakistani boys, they will say it like, it is short, like they don't get angry at it. But and that is like the, that is like the, my friend's, my friend's black, so it's okay. Like, so yeah. it's a whole fucking, it's a do, whole, do you know? it's a whole mindset, yeah. it is, yeah, isn't no, it? Yeah, no, it is, I mean, it is. If you have, us in the room, and there's Aye. a Chinese person in the room, and we say we're going for a chinky, do you think they'll like that? No, no, no. No, no. no I mean, so, I, if, I, there's I, a, I if there's a guy in the room, um, and... Uh, and, and he's Pakistani, and we're all like, ah, you go to you go to the package shop and get your. Okay. That's going to be serious. Like, True. So, but what does it mean if you don't say it because he's there, but you say it behind his back? <laughs> you see? <laughs> <laughs> you see? <laughs> you, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> does that mean you're racist? What is? It's, it's confusing. <laughs> I, I, I just love oh, it. I don't know. I don't, Aye, it's, it does, it's it does. It's, yeah. You are racist. Yes. So, I think some of but us, I feel like everyone's some racist of us then. Are, some of us are just uneducated. Have you, yeah. I say Chinese. Have you ever... Actually, Aye, right? <laughs> I, I swear... I swear on his big man. I swear on my brother's grave, right? I say Chinese only because I, there was one time... Sometimes I'll make a mistake because it's what we all said when we yep. were young, yep. and it's just what we grew up when you heard your bra and uncle yep. say. It. But every time I'm about to say it, I always check myself now. Yeah. I think that's what's the education. Yeah. I always go, go for a Chinese, yeah. you know what I mean? And then 
sometimes I'll get people go, why are you calling it a Chinese? It's a trinky. No, 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 yeah, it's sure. Chinese. You know what I mean? So I try to, even when I'm, I try to pass it on to people, even try and educate them. Just so listen, it's a Chinese. It's, it's, you know, it's, just, it's, when it's we were wrong. young, yeah, we all said it. But, but you know, the thing you know, is, you know, someone tried to argue with me. Apparently, in Scotland, when you say black bastard is someone that's dirty. dirty. <laughs> So, they nah, actually they yeah. used to say like people that were dark, like oh, oh that's black, like thinking. that's dirty. Like, I remember someone, but then they would use that as an excuse just to be on Facebook. To, I had an yeah. argument. Oh no, the guy on the train didn't mean it like that. You were saying to your son that he's dark. I'm thinking, bruv, if I'm sitting next to you in the train and your son just came back from football and you call him a black bastard, I'm offended. Don't, Even don't... if they are saying it, it's because it's dirty. They're just saying because you're a darker tone, you've got dirt all over you and you're, you're dirty. You're a black bastard. You, you're, you're a black bastard. He doesn't keep well, he's stinky, he doesn't wash and stuff like that. But they're taking it from a context of the, the, yes, like, the argument yes, went on now. Yes. In Scotland, we say, like, don't come to our country to, to change our power. I'm like, mate. Yeah. <laughs> That's just fucked. Yeah, yeah, it's fucked. It's fucked. It's fucked. <laughs> uh, the, the whole thing, I'm confused. You know what? This conversation is deep, you know, because I'm going to the train case. Or I'm, I, I don't say it personally because. You'll be checking I, yourself like, now, like, won't you? I, no, see, I don't say it because it doesn't, it's not my style, but I don't think they do it to be racist. But do, do you know what? Now, they don't mean it. Of course they don't, but it's uneducated. It's racist yeah. at the end but, of the day. That's like saying. You know, I mean, it could be anything. Oh, I say black bastard just because, oh, you know, if, uh, I don't mean it to be racist. Just say yeah. It. You, you know can what? say, you can literally have the excuse anywhere. You know, I yeah. realise now, like, amongst our group, we're so past racism that yeah. we literally make fun of every racist. Like, I've got a friend called Dean, right? <laughs> Dean is from Pakistan. Like, he's <laughs> not, his number is saved on my phone. That's Karim Mancha. He's my boy, like he doesn't yeah. mind it. Yeah. He doesn't mind it. But I'm saved in this phone as King Kong probably. So like Yeah. Yeah, no, I know, mean, no, no, no. Because we're so past it, like we just But I think that's a good thing, because if we make it see the like way you say if yeah. you make it like that, that means and like it, it, it won't it won't affect So you know how like black people call each other niggas, like yo yeah. my nigga, I do it, I do it all the time. Yeah. So when they say it, it won't mean much now. Yeah. So they've got nothing to so say. I mean, you take the the potency out of it. Aye. Right? You take the sting out of it. But exactly. on a systemic level, if that's coming in workplaces and all that stuff, mm. yeah. that can't happen. Yeah, you know yeah I mean? no so facts. It, it's, it's a weird way to go about it, but it's I totally weird. understand it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's a funny one. I'm going to think it's, about it's, that it's one. one. It is about thinking about what this podcast is about. Just having a laugh thinking about it. I'm just, thinking, I'm just thinking of all the racism names I've been called. And I just oh, thought, I've been called. I just lot, thought. Man. I just thought of one that's just pure funny. What? I've been called that tree hugger. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's get fucked into it. That is a. That, 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 that's a really. Because I was thinking about it. <laughs> He's trying to hurt you. He's trying to make you go. Yeah, that is bad. That shit funny. <laughs> you said it before. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's fucked. <laughs> it's fucked. It used was, to be so crazy. There was a wee guy, Cameron Cardwell, right? He watch us. He's one of my. He's a, I love the boy pieces, man. He was. He was only about. I think we were in primary four. He was, he was only about ten or something. And he ran around. Guess where Kenny was last night? Guess where Kenny was last night? And all that stuff. Oh my God! Guess where Kenny was last night? And we're like, Oh, what, 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 what? what? You ran about the brownies. Fucking <laughs> oh, wow. hell! And that was just his yes. fought up drill yeah. in front of the whole playground group, and they're all fucking killing us. Yeah. Like, and you get the odd couple like that. My God, that was yeah. racist. You know what I mean? But we hangs up that, and I remember chasing him into the toilet and putting his head in a urinal. I wonder if you remember that, Cammy. But you know, he's not. He wasn't racist. Yeah. Just, no, you get. Know. See the thing. You get, you get some people that are genuinely not racist, yeah. but it's I don't know. Like well, you know, okay, you know the ones I hate the most, where it's like where they feel like they can't even say the word black or that's a black guy. Oh, yeah. That's when they're really racist. Yeah. You get me? Yeah. But you get some folks that are so comf like comfortable and they're not racist, but they say do I don't know how to explain do it. Know, do you know what I like, right? My I've got cousin Deborah. Deborah's mixed race and her boyfriend is white, Connor. The reason why I love Connor so much is he's not afraid of anything. And yeah. the reason why I say this is like when we make black jokes, if he has a black joke, he'll say it. That's the best way. And I, I, love, I love him for that because he's not afraid. And I know for a fact he's not racist at all. Yeah, I know. I but know. he just makes um a, like a serious situation into like a a, a moment of comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, so we make a black joke, we say the N-word. Like he will just 
make that situation proper different. You know what I mean? So like, but if he acts awkward or whatever, that's where you know this. Like you get me? Not. I feel like if very difficult. Yeah, it's because if he joins in, most of them like what you say they'll join in, but they're yeah. generally not racist. Mm -hmm. But you get the ones that are quiet, like oh, but they'll be faking your, racist. I think that's more about your personal choices. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because then if you're on a train and your mate says that joke, it's not going down well with other yeah, like yeah. people who might not yeah. be friends with that person. Yeah. So then... He'll know when to do it. Are you highlighting words like that for kids to hear and stuff like that? Yeah. Like, what are you, if like, where like where do we call the line? Where, what's right and what's wrong yeah, there? Tell you a prime example. I played football in Greenock, which is quite racist. It's right. just it just war, had a lot of racism. They've got a lot a lot of the language you use is a lot like that. And then um, the guy came into training and he was he was obviously getting his work close and that came in the change room and goes... Fucking hell, man! Shafted today. I was like digging like a nigger all day. Yeah, yeah, that that's was my, bad. That was one of my first days at football. That's and that bad. And that was my introduction to whoa. <coughs> no, I never forget that. that. Never that's forget that. Bad. But that guy, won't mention his name, became one of the most influential figures in my life. He used to do so so much. You know, he used to. He would be my biggest fan. He tried yeah. to get me moves everywhere. He would always look after me. He would always all football games and I'd play well. He'd pick me up. And I always thought, he loves me. He used to say, I was like, he used to say, he just loved me. He'd pick me yeah. up anyway. He just, he just, he always done stuff for me all the time. And it just almost brought me back to thinking I could never hate him. I loved him to pieces. Yeah, yeah, Don't yeah. Don't think he was racist. Think he was uneducated. I think maybe it was just something he heard someone say in the past. Yeah, and that's yeah. what I think it just stems down to. Just who he we 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 see but i think it's important to realize like and especially in glasgow and scotland i don't think there's many people that are racist i mm -hmm. think so racism being you're this car you're beneath me blah mm -hmm. blah blah all right i think there's more people just i think it's more systemic racism and that's what we need to <laughs> make sure is not okay it doesn't matter what part it is what joke who's telling us if we make it acceptable it's acceptable uh, and, and and it shouldn't be allowed yes but because then there's no there's no really limit. There's no where's 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 the end? Where's the end goal? What are we allowing? What are we not allowing? We <laughs> if we move the goalposts, you know, how how much do we move them? Yeah, I know. And I think I think that's that's important, but I think that's the real issue. I don't think people are racist. I think more it's just the uneducation and the there might be some extremists, you know, yeah. especially in America and stuff like that. But it's Remember when I said, when I first moved here, like when we moved here, we thought this place was lit, like everyone yeah. was so nice, so polite, so nice, like, but yeah, it's just, I don't know, man, it's a sticky one. The situation is sticky into yeah. it, like he said. It's, it's mad because you're in that way when, you, when you're younger, you're the, you're, you're the minority and you just want to fit in at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you would just, what, what sometimes I used to do was just, see, sometimes before I got kind of a bit tougher, I would just pretend I didn't hear it. Yeah. And I could hear that guy being racist yeah, or saying something to me, I and know. I would just pretend it wasn't there because I just wanted to fit in. Know. You know, and that's what we want to stop. But as I said, have you ever heard, ever heard a white joke? Never. Have you ever had any black people say a white nah. joke? Nah. Never. No white jokes, no nothing. Maybe racist black people saying, yeah. oh, you're a cracker or stuff like yeah, that. That yeah. was mostly, for me, I heard, I've only heard that in a film. Never Same, heard a black person. Honestly. Film, ever. In a film, it was all the time, you're a cracker, this and yeah, that. I that was just can a, you believe? That was the white Hollywood producers like, right, stick that in there so we can fucking do it. <laughs> you know what's funny? I asked Rebecca, do you know what a cracker means? She said, I don't even know what the fuck is that, but it's, <laughs> I'm like, damn, like, it's like, it's nothing. Shows you, you know, it just shows you, but, so if you're, you're seeing your white friend telling a black joke, why is he telling a black joke? Yeah, I know. Why is he telling it? Why? Should he tell it? I know. He's, you know, you, you let him into that circle and then you let him have that because he wouldn't tell a white joke. Yeah, I know. It's, it's a weird one, you know, it's, it's that I way. wish I thought about but, that one. You know, so do you guys, let's talk about influencing. So both influencers, you know, comedian. <laughs> Influencers as well, you know, you have good influence, you have very happy influence, very positive influence, I love it, love watching it. Um, you post about 50 times a day, jeez oh, never uh, seen someone active, post so much. Active. But do you do you guys ever worry that the influencer culture could be having a negative impact on people? <clears throat> I think that word influencer, a lot of people are using it for wrong reasons. Like if, like... Like me, I say I'm, I'm a comedian. I don't really call myself an influencer, but I, so I say celebrity. <laughs> 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 so I'm like, joking. But I feel like a lot of people use that influencer title for the wrong reasons. Do you know what I mean? Like, you get a couple of 
10k or 20k followers oh yeah i'm an influencer and then you start messaging all these brands to try and get freebies and try and get yourself into clubs for free and try and get free food and that and then when they no 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 see that was definitely but wait 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 let me okay can i clear this one up you just going that there can i can i clear this one up please i know what you want just quickly right you know what's funny see that see that master chef guy right whatever did you know on God hand on heart, right? That wasn't that was nothing to do with me, you know. <laughs> you know, see, see, my, like management, right? And you know, see the thing is, right? That was even my management. What they do is, if we're going anywhere, even you, if we're, if I'm going to London, if me and Rebecca are going to London, they like they'll naturally message places. Oh, Bex is coming to London, blah blah. Mm-hmm. It, like know, you love, you get, but the guy was acting as if I sent the message. I never yeah. even asked for that. So, but yeah. it's I know management they do that, so I don't blame him for the. If I was yeah. looking after somebody, I'll be like, oh yo, Beggy's coming to London. Do you mind looking after him? This that blah blah. blah. So people going crazy at me for something one I didn't ask for, and I would expect him to post that if I messaged him like yeah. on Insta like. From me direct, like yo, blah blah. I would love to come to your place for free. I'll post that. Like, then he can call me whatever he wanted. But this was out of my hand, and I never even knew about it. I never knew. <laughs> Management's up. I, 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 I saw the. But I did, just do it. The, the, the title on the news: Begs Chris Love Islander <laughs> scrounges for free food during the <laughs> pandemic. <laughs> it, it killed. But the thing is, the thing. But I don't blame the guy. I don't blame the guy for being angry. You get me? But. Why is he like he's putting it on me? I never asked for this, but nobody's gonna believe it. You get me? But legit, no, I believe you. I do believe you. And that's it. Especially with Kaz, Kaz is like, you need yeah. to get me on the podcast. You need to get me on the podcast. You need to get me on the podcast. When I when it, when I say, listen, come on the podcast. We'll get this done. We'll get this done. And he's like, this day would come. Been invited onto a podcast. I was like, you're fucking, you know, you know. <laughs> it's like, you know, guys, yeah. Oh, Kazzy boy. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've been invited onto this. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Bless my boy. Yeah, whoa, yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? Oh, um, what? So he's each other. Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> um, he's a good, he's a good salesman. He's a good salesman. Yeah, I love him. I think he's brilliant. Yeah. Um, so, so, what about, how do you guys take care of your own mindset? So, body image, you talk about it a lot. So, how do you guys take care of your own mindset in such an image-conscious industry? Um, mm-hmm. You talk a lot about body image and stuff in the past. How do you take care of it? Does, you know, how do, do, is it, have you been affected by, like, body shaming and stuff like that? Like, you see, when I, when I, was, when I was younger, I used to be very self-conscious. I, I hated the way I looked. Like, people used to make fun of my weight, and I didn't really like it. And I feel like that's where kind of some of my depression comes from. I used to go to the, to the swimming pool with a t-shirt on, mm-hmm. but something happened. I don't know what happened, but maybe it was God. I was just going to say Something happened that I just said to myself, I don't care. I'm literally, I don't care about anyone's opinion anymore. I love the way I look. And if I want to change this for myself, mm-hmm. if you don't like it, then like suck one, innit? And like, then from then your life changed from I, that. And that's when I became this, this passion to take because I just didn't care. Like mm-hmm. if you comment on my comment, like, Oh, you, you, you fat this, you fat that. I will literally diss your whole family. I roast everyone. You diss me, I'll diss everyone you know. Your dog, and auntie, your, everyone. Your, <laughs> your hamster, like, that's that, that's how I be. I'm, I'm not going to be proper, like, peak, like, so so harsh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't care. That's why I tell a lot of people, like, if you let negativity run your, your, your mind, it ruins you. Because I used ruined. to do that. Yeah, if someone says you're not funny, I will not post for two weeks. Yeah, Because I'm scared yeah. that if I post, they're not going to like it. Oh, you, you don't like this type of content. You're, you're not funny. You're trying to be this guy. People used to say I'm, I'm trying to be chunks. Mm. Like that, that used to hurt me. But don't I don't know who chunks is. He's a, oh. he's a London YouTuber. Yeah. Really, really successful. He's, he's a good friend of mine, and I love chunks. Get him on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm like, like, yeah. I yeah. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Jump, yeah, he's a really nice. You'll guy. know him. You, I'll, I'll, I'll get your like, photo. People I say, know him. people say, are oh, you trying to be him and all that? Before it will hurt me. But I don't think, you know what, yeah, I am trying to be like him because he's mm. successful, I'm trying to be successful too. Of course, but yeah. everyone, yeah. you see you see everyone that you look up to, you, you will have known. they're successful and stuff, and you, you take a wee bit of them and you put it into your own mm-hmm. chunks. Oh yeah, I love yeah, this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's, 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 he's literally, the, oh. he's a chunks, lovely guy. Chunks, he's not guy. even chunky, why does he call himself Chunks? No, he, he was. Oh, he lost bare weight, man, he's lost bare weight. He has lost weight, hasn't he? He's oh, not, he's, he was chunky, right, okay. Right. So, you've been a big guy, I'm Aye. proud of it. Um, do you feel pressure or at points have you felt pressure recently 
the way society is going to make dramatic changes to your weight to fit in? Well, you can answer that question with fuck it, I don't care anymore. Mm-hmm. But I feel like I don't like the way social media or even just, yeah, social, the way social media makes it seem as in like, you have to look like this to to fit in this place. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, one thing is, 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 is it's also for women as well. Like, if someone sees, uh, give, me, give me an example of someone that's buff on, on um, social media. Um, <coughs> I'm, t- I'm trying to think, why is it not coming out, man? Like, like, um, Bex clothes. Ha ha. Like a, <laughs> oh, I know, I know you're like, I'm trying to think. Mm. Do, do, you know, like, do you know, like, for girls, like, for. Only. You know, you know what they call that? Yeah, the Kardashians, yeah, yeah. right? You know the Kardashians? Mm-hmm. The way they look, like social media has made it as in like, if a girl doesn't look like that, you you you're you're not beautiful. And a lot of a lot of females have actually have that set of mind. And sometimes mind is all like you see like all these guys all oh, broad and gym body this gym and then like you do they see the, the guys doing TikToks where he goes from fat to skinny and then his ego changes. And a lot of guys message me about this, like, bro, like, how do you get your energy? Like, how do you stay so positive? I'm a big guy, I don't know where to get clothes and all that. Like, blah, blah. I think to myself, bro, like, again, I don't care about how someone looks. I can never let that affect the way I am. I tell this to, to all my boys, even my brothers, like, I can't, like, like, it's, it's bad for your mind. It's really, really bad. Yeah. If you, if you think, like, you have a picture of, um, of Usher with his, Six pack and all that, and every day you lift it. I'm gonna be like action, and I think to myself, Nah, man, you, you're mm-hmm. not. You're trying to be him. Just be you. Mm-hmm. Like I'm going gym right now. Like I'm trying to lose weight for myself. Exactly. I'm trying to be healthy for myself. I, I'm not doing it because someone else has told me, or because social media says you have to be skinny to get. I, bro, like it shouldn't be like that. You enjoying he, that? He, he's a better guy than you. Enjoying that. Was it nice? I can hear that. Oh, too much. <laughs> how, many, how much calories? He, man? He's a better guy than me. Yeah. I hit the gym for the girls. Yeah, hey. <laughs> for who? Um, for the girls. Do you know it's that it's that thing. Yeah, the, you have for the, to for the girls. Rebecca, hearing this. Yeah. No, this is this is no. Like, back, back then, what? Like no. You know what? I'm clapping now. Not just for the girls, just but a minute. you had you had it. You get me? Like, like I want I wanted to be that guy. Like if I yeah. took my top off, I'd get attention. Yeah. Yeah. But to be fair, I'm doing it for myself as well because that that would make me feel good. But I wouldn't expect everyone to be like that. Mm. Yeah. You get me? Yeah, I, I so, thought it when I was younger too. I went to a gym, got six pack, and all that. The girls loved it. You know, most that's what people love. That's yeah. what you're led to believe people love with movies. You see someone ripped in the movies and Usher and all mm-hmm. that. You're thinking, oh, and then at school, everyone's like, oh my god, Usher, this and that stuff. You want to go and get the six pack, and then mm-hmm. you're like, oh, and then you get all the attention. You but, soon realise as you get older that the shell, the six pack, yeah, the weight, mm-hmm. the muscle, it's all nothing. Doesn't matter. It's yeah. what you're bringing to the table. You no, know? true, true. I wouldn't expect everyone to be like that. Just do it for yourself. Mm. Like, yeah. Do what makes you happy. Like it made me happy. A girl appreciating my body. You get me. It made me happy. But I wouldn't expect him to feel that way because mm. we're not the same. We're yeah, different. Yeah. Do you get me? Yeah. So he gets. Truthfully, he gets more girl attention. Like girls' attention yeah. when we go out. Fact. I, I have a girlfriend. <laughs> I'm talking like in general, you get me? In general. So uh, yeah, I'm nearly getting married one day. <laughs> but uh, in general, so like he does it for himself. I do it for what I like. Yeah. yeah. And that's, 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 if you want a great answer to that question, that's it. You know, you, you do, these days you do what you do for you mm-hmm. to better yourself, to feel mm-hmm. better. If I was bigger, the only reason I would, and if I was happy, the only mm-hmm. reason I would lose weight would be either to accomplish something or to free up if the doctor told me to cause my, cause my weight. Mm-hmm. It's the only way I would do it. Mm-hmm. If I was happy, um, being big, I'd put on a lot of weight there and had, had a belly and it, it just, cause I, I don't know, I just, <clears throat> it's hard to, if humans hate change, don't we? We hate change and it was getting me down because I'd never been like that, you know? Um, and I felt, I'm not, I said, like you, I felt, I'm not going to put pressure on me to lose this. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to give a shit. I'm still the same inside, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. Just wear a bag of t-shirts. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But, um, <coughs> I, I, I just, yeah, I, I think the industry does this. Management, all that stuff, you know. Just do what makes yourself happy. Yeah. Look at Biggie, like Notorious, yeah. B.I.G. He was happy. He was getting all the girls yeah. because he was comfortable in himself. Exactly. I think that's massive. Yeah. Comfortable in yourself. That's the biggest thing. And yeah, I feel yeah. like 
guys, girls, they love that. Like, I think it beats everything. Yeah, I, I but, think I think a female will love a man that's confident in himself than a guy that thinks oh, I've got a six pack. Yeah, yeah. Do think about. I mean? I've seen so many guys definitely shapes whatever, and the girlfriends are belters. But the guy was feel he's feeling himself. Mm-hmm. You get me? He's lot. He's, he's happy. He's, he's happy with himself. Yeah, yeah. So how do you both manage your mindset with being a personality? So these days we have access to everything. We even have watches now that we can go on and look at Instagram, you know what I mean? So you're really 24-7. Um, as you say, you post a lot. There's a lot of thought and stuff that goes behind the post for both of you. How do you, can it be draining at times? How do, how do each of you manage that? I feel like I'm quite lazy with it. No, <laughs> but I mean lazy, like, it's just like, so you know what, I'm, I I naturally pick up the phone and start recording for time, for years. So it's not like a must. I just do it naturally. So I don't post on Insta because, oh, I have to. I just, that's how I felt that day. And it's like that all the time. Yeah. For me, I, it is a bit draining. It is really, really draining at times because you have to keep posting content like, at the money he's making, he has to. I am so. Damn. I am so poor. Nah, I am no so, way. I will, so will I leak the invoice? I am so poor. <laughs> Have you seen the bag again, bro? <laughs> bro, this nah. this guy is on top. <laughs> like it is, it is draining at times because you have to keep posting content and different content. Like it needs to be different every time. And but I feel like you need to give yourself a break as well because it's a, mm-hmm. it's, a, it's a job. Because everybody goes to to, to work at nine, they finish five, they go home. Mm-hmm. It's the same with us. But what makes it draining is the feedback you get from people as well. Yeah, yeah, that's so true. So if, you, if you're getting bad feedback and you're not getting the, the views that you're you're aiming for or the um, engagement or the likes that you're aiming for to get a certain brand deal, it kind of makes you, it makes you demotivated. You don't really want to do it anymore. Yeah. So I'm saying so. I What I do is I'll post for the whole Monday to Friday, but on the weekends, I just chill with the man them and I just chill with friends because I don't want to think about posting because you have to give your mind that break because but because if you do it every single every day and non nonstop, you become very miserable. I remember when I first started, I was addicted to likes, very <coughs> very like if they, if my boys never checked me, I would have just been like that person. I was addicted to likes, like I love if I get a thousand oh yeah likes, yeah, yeah, yeah. if I get a million views, I, I used to be addicted. Like <laughs> numbers were my addiction, and I thought to myself. Start posting content, not for the likes and the views, but post content for the people and cause you love it. And that's when you became bigger. And that's when I was more laid back and I just said, you know what, I'll post it cause I want to. Like, so if you posted and you got three quarters of the likes that you normally get, mm-hmm. what would happen? Like n- nothing, not, 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 not your week, would it get you down? Before it would, but now I, I don't care. Well, now, back in the day, I mean, back in the day. I, it would like, say I always post a video and I get a million views and then my expectations in my head is if I post, I have to get a million. If I post and I get a hundred K and I leave it there for like two weeks and it's still the same one, I be I, I start being miserable. I start being um sad and I'm depressed. I'm thinking, yo, why's my views not bumping the way they used to? But now I just post like if I post a video, even with the amount of followers I've got, if I post a video and I don't reach what I usually reach, I don't care. Mm. I don't care. Because I know for a fact there's one thing that I love about myself is Brands don't come to me because I have views. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just come to me because they like the personality. Just my personality. Mm-hmm. There's people that have more followers than me, more likes than me, mm-hmm. even more famous than me. But you but make more money. Hey, I'm so broke. No, um, I'm sorry, not like no, you. You, 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 you know get I mean? more. You like get more. one thing that I'm always surprised in is like KFC do this thing where I don't know if I'm supposed to say this podcast. Um, I've got KFC black card, right? <laughs> I get free KFC for the rest of my life. A lot of people, honestly, it's lit. It's a lot of people, a lot of celebrities are in London. You've got you've got Stormzy, you've got Dave. They don't even have that. Mm-hmm. I'm not in their, their level of fame, but I have it. You don't. Yeah. If he goes to KFC, he has to pay. <laughs> I, I just, that. I just think. So like I said, to, I always say to myself, like, I know sometimes it's about talent as well, but no, but mm-hmm. it's just your, per- it's just who you are as a person. Yeah. Just like he said, if you're comfortable in yourself, things can happen for you just like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, like. N- numbers and views sometimes mm-hmm. they don't matter man like so you shouldn't always think about it like that so always keep your mind as like you know i do this because i love it mm-hmm. it's my job i enjoy it don't do it because i'm trying to please people and get the yeah. views like 
It shouldn't be like that. But it's natural to feel like if you post a pic and it doesn't do as well, it's natural to feel like, ugh. But most just of keep us move on. Growing up, didn't we? Yeah, you know? yeah. You just because, move. but we just didn't do it in as bigger platforms as yeah, Bash yeah. would have been on. Like, like uh, I, I talk about it before on my, my, my Facebook. Mm-hmm. If, I, if I got 90 likes or something like that, but the day I got 45, I'm. If I've done wrong, yeah, I would yeah, spend I a week thinking about yeah, you know, a better post, like yeah, I better content out there, you yeah. know. You know, it's, it's, and, but I think it's very natural, yeah. It's very natural. It's a competitive thing, it's addictive yeah. for Instagram and stuff, isn't it? So, in the BLM movement, we had a bunch of people wanting equality, but instead, a lot of us were labelled Marxists and, <clears> and racists and, uh, and stuff like that. When you supported BLM, when you've done your personal support for BLM, as you would, um, did you receive a big backlash and 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 stuff like that? No, Oof, no, I didn't mm. receive backlash. You know why? Because I feel like 99 percent of my of my fan base know the type of person I am. They know I don't do nothing that's that major that you can come at me and be like, "Oh, you mm. done this, you done this." Mm. When I went to the march in Glasgow Green. I believe in the movement. I, of course, I want equality. I want my daughter to be raised in a place where everything's equal. Like, everything's just the same for everybody else. Do you know what I mean? But I feel like some people got hate. <coughs> Which is, for me, I think it's silly. Because like, we're trying... It's not like... I'm not saying we're fighting, but... We're trying to show... Like, try, trying to get the word out there. As in, like, we have to, it's, you have to be equal. Like, you can't just expect everything to just be... One sided. You know I mean, it's so one one sided. Do you know what I mean? Like, like it was really, really rough watching everybody like on on, on telly the way everything was going, the whole George Floyd things. Like, it, it really hurt because I thought so to myself, see, um, see, the movement wasn't even about like the movement after that wasn't mm-hmm. even about George Floyd. George know. Floyd just sparked Aye. the movement, and people were saying, "Well, George Floyd was just a black junkie bastard and all that stuff." Why that? It wasn't even about, and the movement was coming. It was coming. It was always coming, mm. wasn't it? It was coming for years. And, um, I, and I don't want it to stop, man. I want it to keep going because... Yeah. So I'm not even going to lie. Sometimes I, I, I feel to myself, if I go to the States, even for a little brand deal, even to do a video, I'm I, I'm, I'm literally scared to go to the States. Mm. I, I, it's not because um, I'm afraid of flying. I, I, from what I see on TV, mm. I feel like if I go to the States and I get stopped by, by, by the police, I'll, I'll literally shit myself. I'll literally mm. probably faint because I faint when I'm scared. Yeah. So like it's it's really really mad like that. I said to my dad that as well when he came over because he was telling me about what it was like over in the states. Mm-hmm. I was like, Dad, I don't think I can come. He's like, What do you mean? He says, Well, if the police pull me and it's for something I've not done, I'm not getting out of the car. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm not doing anything they ask me to do unless they've got grounds to do it. Mm-hmm. But then if you act that certain way, <coughs> you go down and grab something and I point my gun at you, I'd end up. I feel. I'd end up getting shot. Yeah. And see if I hear them in a supermarket and stuff like that, and Walmart and people being racist, I'm barring them. I'd end up in the jail. I would literally, I'd, I'd bash them. I couldn't stand it. Or looking at my kids and going, oh, get out of that parking spot or anything like that. I'm gone. So I say, I don't want to live in that, Dad. I don't want to live in that. But and he's like, oh, you just, you know what I mean? You just go on, mate. No, I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. Nah. I feel so confused because, like, in America, there's black people there. Like, I used to, like, think, oh, life there is amazing. Mm-hmm. There's black people. Everyone gets on. But there's more racism there than in Scotland. Because can I be honest, if I get pulled by the police, like, they don't bother me. Mm. Even if I said, it's sad to say, but even if I said, oh, like, why are you pulling me, whatever, yeah. is it because uh, they back away? You get me? They don't want any hassle. Not all of them, you, but most of them. Do you know what I think it is? I, f- I feel like there's, there's racism everywhere. Right? Facts. Absolutely. The reason why it's different between America and here, mm-hmm. in in America, they say fuck the law. Sorry, I'm uh, sorry, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. they, they, they don't go. In the UK, the law is so strong that yeah. if you know what you're talking about, feds can't touch you. Yeah, that that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's yeah. true. Yeah. No, 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 no. Like, like they, they can't do nothing. But like in in America, it's like, oh, stop the car. Um, show me your license. Okay. Yeah. Um, give me your registration. You. Go to gun. But here, no, if no, you no. stop me in the car. And then, oh, show me your license, I show you my license. Oh, they just have this comments because they yeah, know, like, yeah, yeah, if they yeah, fuck yeah, up, yeah. they're done. Yeah. See, to be honest, I've never, ever had a problem with anyone in any kind of job, racism, no shopkeepers, no restaurant, mm-hmm. workers, no restaurant owners, no place. They've always been so nice to me. Mm-hmm. Never been, you know, you know, been kind of 
singled out or anything like that of any kind of, of our workforce, anything like that. It's always just been people. It's probably um, the size of you. you I know. wouldn't even say anything <laughs> to you. <laughs> Never, you know. I got the sales one night for a guy who started on me, called me a racist name. I punched him. I get the sales. That's the only kind of thing because the guy in the camera shouted out, it's the black one in the camera, and I get taken away. It wasn't, I wasn't the one that started. It was Jace Jones. He, I got the sales. My mum went nuts, but I came in and the guy in the sale came and gave me a cup of tea and all that. It was so nice to me. Talked to me for 10 minutes, then went away. So I think, I, I don't, see, see Scotland, I don't think, it's, see if we put it against America, it's not racist at all. It, do you know no. what I mean? There's just but Scotland, why it's an though? amazing country. Because there's more black people amazing there. Amazing country. But there's still nowhere near enough black people compared to the white people over mm -hmm. there. See, when we were young, did you think America was full of black people? So yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. And I it's did. not like that. You know, it's like there's, there's not as much black people as we think there, you know? But it's yeah. not that. I just... You know, I know in Scotland, I don't think there's any, I don't think there's really any racist in Scotland. Maybe 99% of people I don't think are racist. Mm. I think a lot of them are uneducated and a lot of them literally will say on a night out, they'll just go, oh, you're, you're black this, you know, and then they'll go home to their black girlfriend, you know? You know how many times we've seen that kind of thing? They just yeah. say it to say it because they know uh -huh. it's a racist thing. Do you know what I mean? They don't mind mm. about history. You ask them about the, the, the 400 years of slavery um, in America and stuff, they won't they don't have a clue. Uh -huh. You know, they don't have a clue about it, you know. Um, so they don't know the origins and stuff like that. So I don't think they can, they don't have a hate. It's not like they hate you. Yeah. I do think darker people in Scotland get it worse than mixed race people. Yeah, yeah, I would say that so. That is I what I think. Because so. sometimes I see slight systemic racism in mm -hmm. cafes and stuff like that. Not towards me, but towards maybe darker people. Yeah. As if they say they burgle more and stuff like yes. that. Or they'll nick stuff more. And I don't like that. And that's just, do you feel that sometimes? And I just, like the security guard following yeah. me, it's like, fuck off, man. I know. So I, I remember one time, hand. one time I, ch I checked a girl, right? I was walking across the street and then there's, there's like, 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 I think it was a mixed race girl. I, met, I, was, uh, I didn't even meet her, but outside the club. And then I argued with one of her friends and then she came in back. Oh, yeah, yeah, my master. And I said, ha, ha. she was fucking laughing. I said, you calling me a black person and, and, and you're, 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 you're mixed race. And he's about my, my, my mom's white. I was like, what's your dad? <laughs> he's black. Yeah. You're calling me black. I right, sorry, did it. And then nice. since that day, every time she saw me in the club, she just put her head down until one day I spoke to her. And then I said, yo, every time you see me run away from me, she's like, since that day that you spoke to me, I just realized that I'm actually quite foolish from what? I said, bruv, like, like you, you're right. I feel sometimes darker, you get it more than mixed race. Because like, if they know you've got a white side, yeah. they're kind of be like, you know what? He kinda, he's one of us. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely like I mean, that. And then you do get, you'll get mixed race people who will distance themselves from black people. Aye. Or darker black people. Mm -hmm. You get that a lot. Um, for me, because I didn't grow up in Glasgow, I brought up more in the, the Argyle, right? Um, for me, I, I never had a chance to be in a black group. Mm. Yeah. That's why sometimes I feel, that's what I meant. Like, with growing up, I was, I was growing up white. Like I was black, I was growing up. No, no, no. Everything no. around me was white. No, no. Music, everything. Any party yeah. was that white, 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 everything. Um, never had a time where I could go and maybe have four black friends in a group and go out for lunch with them. But and that's kind of like me. And you know? talk culture and stuff like that. Never ever had that growing up. Mm -hmm. Like when I see a lot of you guys, you're always surrounded with mostly black and then a few white. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is good, it's diverse. But me, I never had that. So I felt just like I didn't know the black ways. You See, mine what? happened late though. Mine happened legit when I turned like 20, 2021. 20, when I met Biggie. Yeah. Yeah. Well. When we done Waterloo Road, that's yeah. when the, the, get when the, the, the group I, came yeah. together. I remember the first, the first time I met Biggs, right? Oh my God, you know Waterloo Road. <laughs> Aye, yeah. Yeah. Aye. I remember the first time I met Biggs. I, I remember I'm oh, yeah, I came, into, I came into Waterloo Road, like, I don't think he's ever, he's ever had any black friends. I didn't yet. have any black friends. So I was sitting in Waterloo Road and I'm, I'm there with my, one of my boys and then Biggs is sitting in the other side, he's, he's like this. <laughs> and he's, he keeps looking and he comes in and he was like, um, are you Biggie? I'm like, yeah. Get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm yes. Biggs. So I'm like, oh yeah. And, also, and then from that day we just became blah, blah, blah. And I feel yeah. like from Biggs hanging out with us, for such a long time, like what? We'll be first for like almost nine years now. His accent changed a little bit. <laughs> no, oh yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the words you use yeah, and all yeah, that is yeah. all that like, but. I was always seen different, but with black folks, mm -hmm. you get me? Like, cause they always see me definitely, like, mm -hmm. this guy is black, but he's got 
like such, not like white waist, but like. You used to, to have the slick back hair. Do you know? Do you know? Here's a story that, that I experienced racism. When I first moved to Glasgow when I was 17, do you know how all the boys used to hang about at the top of town in the stairs? Aye. You know? He's one of those. We used to. We all used to. And I was going mm-hmm. with my girl from Townhead. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't you remember Naomi Stagliano? Remember Naomi? Um, so I was I was going with Naomi. You'll know who it is. I reckon it's um, Yeah, so we were always around that bit, right? And, um, and because I had my white ways, I was trying to fit in and trying to get yeah, the culture yeah, because yeah. I had my white ways. Literally, I got... One guy, I can't remember what he said, but it was basically, well, you've got nothing, you, you know what I mean? You move like a white man, you're you're too white for us, kind of thing. Oh, yeah. That's what I got. And then I thought, whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Even if I did move for a white man, what's wrong with that? Do you know what I mean? Even if I did. And I really got kind of cussed out that group. Uh-huh. And then yeah. I kind of stopped hanging about there. So that's the only time I've really experienced that and mm. it was from black guys you know yeah. not black guys darker guys than me it was mm. um um scottish african boys and 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 that's what i got from that i can't remember mm. one guy more i think it was more used to kick about there he was Lord. sound he was great sam no sam yeah i know sam, sam used I know to sam, kick yeah. and all that so uh, and yeah. one of them but not him none of them they were great but there was a couple of boys there that said that and i was like whoa I can't even fit in there. Where yeah. I fit? You know what I mean? Where, no, where am I fitting in here? Man. You know what I mean? <laughs> What's going I on know. here? And that actually made me question a lot of stuff. It hurt my feelings big time. Yeah. You know, big no, time. No, the thing is, I, I feel that. Like, I, I feel that. See, black people can be racist as well, yeah. you know? Oh, hell yeah. Of course. Like, yeah, they can. Like, what happened to you? Like, it kind of happened to me, but. In it, like, I, I, you know, from Beggy, yeah, no, so I sensed <laughs> it, you get me, like, I sensed it, but I, we were always cool, you get yeah. me, we were always and that's cool. Good that they, they, like, they're big and that brought you in like that because I didn't get brought in as much, yeah, yeah, you know, maybe because of what I was wearing and stuff, I was cost tracky or, or whatever. Sergio it's, Tacchini tracks it, it's even the same for, for Nathan. We've got a friend, Nathan, Kerr, yeah. shot Nathan, Kerr. like, is that the guy who there's a guy, there's a white, white guy you hang about with, right? And I swear to God, sometimes he looks so fucking awkward, you know. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> I, I remember, I remember you were sort of doing stuff and you were driving about in the car. Yeah, he's it, rented it, bro, driving it was, about. It was he's right. in the back of that. That's, that's right. And you know what's mad? <laughs> You know, that, he grew up with a black guy, didn't he? Oh, right, yeah, because he was like that. Yeah. Mate, you hear him coming out, you like, sometimes like, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Sir, <laughs> that's oh, why the that I... Oh, fuck's sake. You're right, sir, dude. <laughs> and that sir, was dude. so funny, I'm seeing him, man. You can just see him disappear into the seat. <laughs> oh, my, that's Ryan. That is, I... No, Ryan, Ryan is an OG, man. Oh, yeah. Listen, we're going to have to finish up this but i'm actually got it class will definitely get you back in we can do it as soon as you want yeah, you so it. busy so hopefully you make time for it because oh, so i'm so busy biggs is so busy this has been fantastic it's been flip the mindset biggs and bash the entertainer whoa, 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 racism whoa, 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 and growing up in scotland which to be honest is the best place i would ever wish to grow up and i'm so if happy my kids are growing up anywhere it is scotland i'm so happy i'm so proud of where i'm from i'm so proud of how i've been brought up who i've been brought up by i'm so proud for my um, my white side i'm so proud for my black side when my black side um, has been later on in my life didn't have it when i was younger as much um we've all had our different experiences with racism and stuff like that but it's systemic racism that's the problem and uh, I love all Scotland. We want, yeah, I love Scotland. All we want is to be equal, and and that's the thing. I'm, we we are all to, to me anyway. We are all equal. You know what? I put a video up about it. All we want is peace. We don't want to be. Bo- you get me? I'm yeah. not looking to bother yeah. anyone. And we don't want like, anyone to bother us, even if yeah. they don't want to speak to me, whatever, or speak to us, whatever. Just let us be. Don't call us name. Don't even look at us. Like yeah. we're fine with that. Yeah. You, you we know, just want to be at peace and happy. Do you know, see, see, even when I have experienced racist, I've never turned around racism. I've never turned around, ever, I promise you. I've never seen someone call me a nigger or a black bastard or whatever I've yeah. in the past. I've never turned around and went, oh, well, you're a white this or you're a nah. white that. It's just never really tipped my tongue. No, nah, never. And I just think, when my mate talks about South Africa, um, 
that can come off black people's tongues quite a lot yeah. to white people. So I think it's maybe a majority minority thing or yeah. stuff like that. So mm. it's, 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 I want to hear your views. I want to hear your uh, beliefs, your opinions and comments and put them in the comment section. Please subscribe. Do the, do the, give them the thumbs up and just tell me your opinion. No hate. Just listen, there's no room to hate. Um, I know, but... Yeah, Scotland. This, yeah, this has been fantastic. Episode 18, Bigs Bash. We will repeat this. We'll get Bigs and Bash's life. We're going to talk more about Precious Modern Society. We carried away today, which was fantastic. But I want to thank you for coming on. Please check out... BMC Caps. Hats, BMC. Um, <laughs> they're actually really nice. No, nah, I appreciate really, that, really man. Nice. I appreciate I that. I really like them. I appreciate um, that. As well, we're sponsored by the pair of jeans that these two guys want. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. What are we I saying? Need, yeah, they're sick. They're so different. I love them. I, I need a piece, man. Yeah. Yeah, you get them. So, Zoron is the company. I'll tag Zodon. them below. Um, I actually opened them and I was like, ah, they're never going to suit me. And I wore them and I thought, oh, yeah. That's fire. Okay. That's fire. So, in fact, a quick question. So, like, see, like, growing up, did you ever try to, like, dress black? You get me? Like, the dude acts and shit like that, or was that just a no? I, when I came from, the dress black, I would have got fucking slaughtered. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, my God. <laughs> see, if I turned up to school on a bandana, I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah. you up, the Kendall. Ah! Yeah, no, nah, I feel <laughs> that. You know, I, <laughs> honestly, yeah, Aye. I couldn't do it. No, it wouldn't happen. But it's, now it's, it's so, so different. I'm seeing white boys wearing durags and that, and yeah. I think it's class. I don't, get, know, I, get, I, I don't get angry at that. I, I love it. I all this stuff where you're saying, well, you can't dress like us and all that. Remember oh, Rebecca? Oh, no, 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 no. Remember oh, Rebecca? Oh, oh. When, when I took her to the black um, oh, salon in Scotland. Oh. I, I hated that. That oh, really, that really that annoyed me. That, that, was that really pissed me off as well. Yeah. It really, really can have her here, whatever fuck she like, wants. Like, like, imagine, imagine, right? I'm bringing my white girl home, yeah. and it's like she didn't like. Imagine she looked at my sister's hair, and my mom said like, "Ew." But she seen it. Like, wow, like I, like, I want to get it. Yeah. Duh, yeah. I'm taking her. Yeah, like she's care. appreciating her. Ridiculous as well. Like people are just people just like butt hurt from anything. Yeah, like, oh my god, what is is Bash eating cereal? That offends me. What are you eating cereal for, man? I know, you should be eating you bananas. Eat bananas. Fuck's sake. But listen, guys, thank you very much. Love you all. Remember, hit the subscribe, check out Dash's what? page. What? I'll link them all below, all their social media. You've, you've probably got them both on anyway, but we'll give them um, Bigs and Bash. We'll, we'll plug them below. Get on it. Love you. See you soon. Peace. What? 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 What?